So, next form natin is the sum of 2 cubes. So, kapag sinabi natin sum of 2 cubes, dapat ang given natin is dalawa lang, tapos ma-plus siya. Tapos, dapat may cube root ang given. So, yung first given natin, or yung first term natin is dapat may cube root, at ang second given natin, or second term natin ay may cube root din. So, in this case, kukunin natin yung cube root ng a cube, tapos yung cube root ng b cube. So, ang cube root ng a cube ay a, tapos ang cube root ng b cube ay b, tapos uh, plus, kasi plus yun na sa given. Then, after that, is, is, is square natin yung a squared, kaya nagkaroon siya ng a squared, minus yung opposite sign ng a times b, kaya naging a b, plus the uh, square of the b squared. Example natin dito, we have x cubed plus 27. Check muna natin kung ang given ba ay may cube root. So, yung x natin, yung x cubed natin is equal to x times x times x. So, x times x is x squared. Tapos, times x will be x cubed. So, may, ang cube root niya is x. Ang 27 natin ay equals kay 3 times 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3, this will be 27. So, therefore, yung, yung letter A natin, ito yung letter A natin, tapos ito yung letter B. Yung letter A natin, ang cube root niya is uh, x plus, yung letter B natin, ang cube root niya is 3. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, x raised to squared minus this will be yung letter A natin is x times yung B is 3 then plus yung letter B natin is 3 then squared then simplify is equal to x plus 3 then x squared minus 3x plus 9 so, yun yung magiging factor natin. So, next form natin is difference of 2 cubes. So, kapag difference of 2 cubes or DOTC, uh, parehas na, almost parehas siya doon ng sum of 2 cubes, pero nakaiba lang sila sa sign. Yung isa is plus, ito ngayon is the <coughs> minus. So, magkakaroon tayo ng A cube minus B cube. So, kunin, ganun din yung form. Kukunin natin yung cube root ni ng first term at ang cube root ng uh, second term. So, yung cube root niya is A and B. Tapos, A squared kasi A times A. Tapos, plus the opposite sign, A times B. Then, the B times B, kaya, kaya, kaya nagkaroon ng B squared. Given natin dito is 4X cube Y minus 500Y. So, based on the given, yung 4 is in, wala siyang cube root at ang 500 ay wala rin cube root. So, ang gagawin natin dito is Applyan mo natin siya ng CMF. So, kapag inapplyan natin siya ng CMF, ang common sa kanya is 4 at saka Y. So, in this case, pag dinibide natin yung first term, yung first term natin dito sa ating given, magkakaroon tayo dito ng X cube minus yung second term, i-divide natin doon sa ating 4Y, magkakaroon tayo ng sagot na 120 5. Tapos, uh, magkakaroon na tayo ng, or pwede na natin i-apply ang difference of uh, 2 cube. Since yung x cube ay my cube root at ang 125 ay my cube root. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng x cube is equal to x times x times x. This is x squared times x. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x cube. Yung 125 is equal kay 5 times 5 times 5. So, this is 25 times 5, 125. Tap. <clears throat> then, this will be equal to 4. Uh, ito yung letter A natin. Ito yung letter B. So, 4Y, magkakaroon tayo dito ng X minus 5. Tapos, this will be X squared plus opposite sign yung A natin ay X at ang B natin ay 5. Then plus, yung B natin is 5 ulit. Then squared, then close parenthesis. This is equal to 4Y times X minus 5 times X squared plus 5X plus 25.
5. So, ito yung magiging factor ng aking given.